The ability of thin metal films to significantly change their resistance when exposed to the magnetic field or the giant magnetic resistance was discovered by Albert Third and Peter Grunberg in 1988. This effect is based on the dissipation of electrons depending on the spin direction. This effect is predominantly used for such applications as biosensors, microelectromechanical systems, magnetic field sensors designed for reading data from hard drives, etc. Due to their giant magnetic resistance, multi-layered structures were used in magnetoresistive random access memory as cells stored in one bit of data. The most popular industrial application of GMR today is spin valve-based sensors. A typical sensor that is based on the GMS consists of seven layers, which include the following. A silicon substrate, a closed binder, a sensor, non-fixed moving bed, a non-magnetic layer, a fixed and pinning layer, an antiferromagnetic fixed layer, and a protective layer. The closed binder and the protective layer are often made of tantalum, while copper is used as the non-magnetic layer. The magnetization in the sensor layer can be freely aligned by the external magnetic field. This layer is made of the nickel ferrum compound or cobalt alloys. The antiferromagnetic layer is made of ferrum magnum or nickel magnet films. The magnetization direction of this field depends on the fixing layer made of a hard magnetic material like cobalt. A sensor of this kind is characterized by the asymmetric loop, which is associated with the presence of the hard magnetic layer that fixes the magnetization direction in the operating field range. Today's spin valves are manufactured using nanotechnologies. The nanostructured spin valves, along with the function of magnetic field sensors, are used in development of spin injection mates. The new type of hard metal mazes with the frequency readjustable by the magnetic field. This device operates in the millimeter and submillimeter frequency ranges.